Hey guys, what's up? It's Chase from thetechunion.com and welcome to the next intermediate tutorial video. So in this video, we're going to go over Mocha tracking or tracking in Mocha and specifically um, I'm going to be doing some corner pin tracking. Uh, I think it's one of the more common types of tracking in Mocha so that's what I'm, what I'm going to be going over in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to call this Mocha tracking. Can't spell tracking right. I'm going to make the comp 1920, oh my goodness, tab, by 1080, alright, everything else looks good, I'm going to click OK, alright, I'm going to drag in my footage, here it is, and let's go and trim this up, and we're going to right click, trim comp to work area, alright, so what I have here is a video of, oops, a video of uh, my iPad and basically we're going to do a screen replacement so there's nothing on here and I'm gonna put in the uh, Tech Union intro because I'm very original so let's go ahead and do that alright so we're gonna click on this footage on this piece of footage and all we're gonna do is go to animation track and mocha AE alright now we don't really have to name it, you can name it, I'm not going to name it, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Everything is good, uh, make sure your frame rate, I'm not going to be saving this because uh, I don't need to save it, it's not that important. Uh, make sure your frames match up to how many frames are in your After Effects comp, but it should be doing it automatically, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Make sure your frame rate is correct, and that's really all you need to do or all I need to do for this video. And we're going to click OK. Uh, yes. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Now for this, uh, you can see that there are a ton of buttons and just this tracking program alone. But for this, we're only going to need to know a few. So let's first start out with doing our X spline. This is kind of the uh, base of all the tracking. Basically, you draw out these points and kind of that red box and you right click to stop drawing points the red box is kind of telling you that whatever's inside that red box is what's going to be tracked and you see we have points here it's just kind of kind of use those points for reference kind of helping it do its job so we're just going to kind of outline the iPad and then what we're going to do is we are going to, since we're doing corner pin tracking, we're going to turn on show planar surface. Now, this is where we set up our corner pins. If you don't do this, uh, then it's going to mess up really badly. So you want to make sure to do this. Alright, so basically this is where uh, your corner pins are. So my since my screen, or the Tech Union intro is going to be on the screen, I want to set up my corner pins around the screen. All right, so we are ready to track now. Um, over here, I want to watch this a little bit. I'm going to push that in, maybe not too much, just because I don't want it to start tracking over here, because then it'll all get off. So I'm going to click the track forwards button, and if I see any mistakes, I'm going to stop it and correct it. All right, let's go. All right, tracking. always watch if it gets off because if you catch it right when it happens it's gonna save you a headache right here getting off a little bit let's keep going still looking good Mocha does a pretty good job on its own, but you have to help it along just to make sure that your track is perfect. Now for this video, I'm not going to do the whole clip just because that'll take a little bit longer because I don't need to do the whole thing to get uh, the point across. All 
right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My dogs were going crazy. Okay. Just keep making sure everything's lining up right. Alright. Looking good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. And if we go back to the beginning, we see that the points have shifted a little bit just because based on what we've changed I need to go back and make sure they're still correct <coughs> alright let's look now sure that everything's still lining up. Alright. It's still getting off here. So... Tracking it. All right. So, <clears throat> if it keeps getting off like this, uh, what that means is that you probably need to adjust your X spline. But um, since we have the beginning a pretty good track, uh, I don't think we really need to do that. It is going to shift a little bit uh, when we're actually inside of um, After Effects. But that's okay because uh, this is just a tutorial and just this little bit is fine because you know how to track now. So now we need to know how to get this back into After Effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to export our tracking data and we're going to do corner pin only and we're going to copy to clipboard. If you want to save that file, you can. You don't have to though. Then we're going to drag in our intro and we're going to make sure we're at the beginning and we're going to paste it onto there. So now you can see that it is now onto the screen. And if you look, you see that, uh, okay, we didn't track there, but right here it's getting off a little bit. That's just because uh, we didn't do a perfect track inside of Mocha. But if you do look, about here, it's working out pretty nicely. Just like that, and that's how you do a screen replacement with Mocha. That's basically corner pin tracking. Uh, you can do this for a lot of things, and um, <coughs> it's extremely useful if you need to do a screen replacement. So that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to uh, check out the next video. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.